Hello. It is 8.35 on Friday evening. And excuse my nastiness. I, again, am still in my work clothes and have not had my shower yet. <clears throat> Even though I was off at like, I don't know, 2.30 or something like that today. Mm -hmm. With full intent, mind you, to hook up my sub pump and start draining my pool, which I did do. And I was going to get my house all cleaned up and everything. And then uh, when my boss dropped me off at home, at the end of the day, she informed me that we are off Monday because it's her paperwork day. So I thought... I will clean my house Saturday morning <laughs> because I pulled something in my back and to the side and kind of into my hip today. I don't know what the hell I did. I must have twisted funny or I don't know, but holy crap, am I uncomfortable? <clears throat> and it's quite painful to get in and out of the car and up and down off a seated position and oh fuck but enough about my hip <laughs> it was a good day today it was a very productive day things went a lot smoother today which is awesome um i uh had a chat with my boss yesterday about um, the, uh, certain ways that I was doing things and she suggested other ways. So I started doing those other ways yesterday and found them much easier. And today everything went much smoother. I was so happy. She came in and said something. She's just kind of stood there and watched me for a minute, <laughs> which makes me nervous. I hate being watched. I, I hate. Yeah. If I don't know, it's great. I, I, I could care less. But when I know that somebody's watching me, when I know somebody's paying attention, I get very nervous. I get very self-conscious. Yeah. So it was kind of awkward. But I'm glad she did it because, yeah. <clears throat> so one of the biggest problems I've been having <clears throat> uh, in doing this job so far, uh, and for anybody who doesn't know, I'm a residential cleaner um and this is my third week on the job so still learning things um because it is very different cleaning as a cleaning service as opposed to cleaning your own house right so <clears throat> one of the biggest problems i've been having so far is um glass showers glass shower doors showers that are completely encased in glass and if you have one of those i hate you and everything you stand for so she showed me a better way to do them and it is better it is faster it is fine but in my opinion um they they still look foggy they look yeah it uh, I don't get to see them fully dried, so what I, I take her word that they dry nice, but every time I leave a bathroom that has glass shower doors or is completely glass, I hate it. I hate it with every fiber of my being. I could stand there all day and just keep wiping these fucking things. It drives me absolutely batshit crazy. <clears throat> um, but everything did go much smoother. And, you know, like they say, the speed will come, right? Like, the speed will come. They want me to do a, a good job. They want, you know, no little fuzzies, no little hairs, no streaks, that kind of thing. You know, do it right, and then the speed will come. So, I am trusting in that. That is my mantra. Every day, all day long, it runs in my head over and over again. <laughs> Because I want to be fast and good right now. <laughs> and that just doesn't work that way. So. <laughs> but it was a very good day. And Fridays are always a bit of a lighter day. 
um, because my boss wants to be done at home as much, if not more so, than we do. So <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> that is fine. <clears throat> so when she dropped me off this afternoon and said, you know, okay, we're off Tuesday or we're off Monday. I was like, oh shit, a three day weekend. Stellar. I'm not doing frig all tonight. I'm going to get the sub pump hooked up and thrown into the pool, which I did. It's about halfway drained now. And that's it. I'm done. I took a nap on the couch. Yep, I did. Bad idea because man was my hip and my back screaming at me when I woke up. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> As soon as you stop moving for any length of time, right? Oh, my God. So, I got up around quarter after five. I have no idea what time I passed out. I put a movie on and passed out. Movie was over. My alarm was going off. I'm like, oh. So, oh, these people. People keep coming into... I'm parked at the beach tonight. Because the other... Um, at the parks where I normally park are friggin' packed tonight. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, get out of here, kids. So, what was I saying? Oh my god. Yeah, I passed it on the couch. When I woke up, the movie was over. My alarm was going off. It was like quarter after five. And I had to go get my eldest from work. So. I very slowly and painfully rolled off the couch. <laughs> Felt like I was like 95 years old. Oh my God. I hated my life when I woke up. <laughs> and limped to the car. And then to get in the car, I was like, oh dear shit. I had to brace myself on the door. If I can just, oh my God. It still hurts to get in and out of the car. And it's mainly my hip. I have no idea what I did to myself. Not a clue. Mm. So I went and got my boy. And we came... Excuse me. We came home. And I made him a couple of burgers. I said, I'm not... Cooking a big dinner tonight. I'm... I wasn't hungry at the time. And I'm not eating burgers, so... And he's like, well, it's okay. I'll just have two burgers and... Fine. So I made him two burgers. And I went and sat down. Decided I wanted to watch another movie. So I put Grease on, which is like one of my favorite movies in life. I love that movie. I could watch that movie all day, every day, and be happy as a clam. I love that freaking movie. <clears throat> so I put that on. And then I decided I was hungry. <laughs> and made up a box of craft dinner. I know. Whatever. Had a little bit of that. Put the rest of it away. I figure either my eldest will take it for work tomorrow. Or I will have it for lunch tomorrow. Well, I don't generally do lunch. So dinner. Uh, uh, so. Ate that. Cleaned up. Well tidied up the kitchen. Because I'm cleaning tomorrow. I ain't cleaning nothing tonight. Tidied everything up. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. And I was sitting there watching Grease. And then I realized it was like. Eight-ish. And I thought damn I better go vlog real quick. And then. Uh, I think. Uh, I think I'm going to go over to my buddies for a little bit tonight. So I'll grab a fresh coffee on my way there and we'll go be chatty Cathy's for I don't know, a little bit until I until my hip starts nagging me and I gotta move and it was funny because I phoned him as I was leaving to go vlog and uh <laughs> he was telling me he was supposed to replace a tire or change a tire or something on his car. He was telling me he was doing something and he went to lift, I don't know, the tire or toolbox or whatever. And he pulled something in his back. And I was like, well, your back, my hip, like, ain't, ain't we a pair? <laughs> oh my God. 
ain't we a pair? <laughs> so we chit chatted for a little bit. My phone hooks into my car so I can talk hands free and stuff. And I'm, you know, chatty Cathying with him while I'm trying to find a place to go vlog because my regular two parks that I go to, well, there's two spots in the one park by my house on the river um, that I like to go park at and both are packed, like packed. So I thought, well, I'll go, go over to Canaterra beach and see what that's like. So on my way here, there's a baseball park and it has a little parking spot that's always empty. And I thought, worst case scenario, I'll go and I'll park there. It's fine. As I passed it, I seen an OPP SUV. Say that five times fast. Um, parked in that ballpark area. And I thought, I don't know if I can park there with him there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of weird. And uh, as I'm passing him, I realized that I was, in fact, speeding. And I thought, no, oh, I'm not even going to slow down. <laughs> like, we're just going to keep going. <laughs> like, he didn't stop me or nothing. He didn't pull out. He didn't, you know, do the woo-woo. He didn't do nothing. So he was either busy doing paperwork or just didn't give a shit. God bless him because, yeah. <laughs> I figured by the time I seen him, it was too late to slow down. So he might as well go balls deep, you know. <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> oh, shit. It was funny. And I'm telling my buddy, and he's like, oh, Jen. <laughs> Come get me. <laughs> if he caught me and he ticketed me, I'd have deserved it. I'd have taken it. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, anybody watching, how are y'all doing? How was your day? How was your Friday? Uh, uh, are you ready for the weekend? Because I am. Bring it on, baby. I am going to get up in the morning and I am going to take my eldest to work and I'm going to have me some coffee. Actually, what I would do if I was smart is get up at the same time I would as if I was going to work. Because then I'd get all my coffee in before I even take the kid to work. Take him to work and then clean him a house. And it should take me about an hour. Yeah, it should take me about an hour. And uh, I have laundry to do too. And I got... A crap ton to put away. I'm the worst for not putting my my laundry. I'll wash it. I'll fold it. And then it'll sit on top of my bureau for weeks. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> it's enough that I washed, folded, and brought it upstairs. Like, come on now. Ugh. So, I'll clean the house. Get some laundry going. Put some fresh towels out in the bathroom because I finally I did get the towels done. And I will have to fold them either tonight or tomorrow morning. I don't care. And I brought my shop vac into the house today so that I can, because I don't have a vacuum. Um, but there's only my room that's got a rug and the kids' rooms have rugs. I don't do my eldest boy's room. You can't pay me to go in there. Nope. And um, my youngest has a carpet in his room. So I usually just do mine in his. But I don't have a vacuum. So that's fine. They'll live. I figure when I get paid, I'll hit Walmart or something. I'm sure I can find some cheap fucking vacuum. I, I don't care. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I brought the shop back. And is it starting to rain? Bugger me. It's 
spitting. Weird. I don't think so. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. And then uh, I think my buddy is doing some work on his car. He's going to, I think, work on that tire tomorrow. Um, which he says is a one-man job, so I ain't, I ain't going, I ain't touching that. But I said, he's, he's got these other things that he wants to do that he may need an extra pair of hands for. Um, and I said, that's fine. I said, uh, I'll do my thing. And if I get the house done before you call me, which I more than likely will, I will go out, um, and play in my gardens for a bit. Oh, I missed a text. I didn't see who that was. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I will go out and play in my gardens for a bit and get them cleaned up as much as I can. And whenever you're ready to do the other job, give me a call. And if I can help you, I will come over and help you. Um, but I'm not going to come and sit and just chatty Kathy while you're, because I, I can't sit, I can't sit for two, especially if my hip stays the way it is. I like, it's screaming at me right now, sitting in the car. Like, oh my God. <clears throat> I would rather keep busy and hopefully work it out, you know, but, uh, I might actually have to go buy some ibuprofen tomorrow. It hurts. <laughs> Uh, oh, well. Um, so I may go over sometime in the afternoon and help him with that. And that's fine. Oh. And I'll finish draining the pool because there's no way it'll finish tonight. I mean, it's it was just about halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway done um, when I left the house tonight. But... It's not, it's not going to finish. It's not going to finish tonight. Um, but if I plug it in when I first get up in the morning, it should be done like early afternoon tomorrow. So, and then, uh, once I'm done helping with whatever the hell he's doing in the car, um, I should be able to take the pool down. Um, and put most of it away. The liner and the lid are going to need a good rinsing because everything got kind of bleh, which is why I decided to say screw it, drain it, and put it away because I ain't, I'm not going out and buying shock and stuff and when it's damn near August, like most of the pool supplies and stuff are gone right now anyway, so whatever. Mm -mm -mm. So I'll get those rinsed down sometime Saturday, most likely Sunday. Um, and then hopefully Monday-ish should be able, I should be good. Everything should be dry enough to, you know, roll up and store away for, for the rest of the year. So, and then Monday... Um, my son is off. He starts his holidays. He's got a week's holidays. And, uh, so I get to sleep in. And, uh, I'm not doing much of anything. Um, both boys should be home. My youngest will come home probably Sunday. I'll probably go pick him up in the latter half of the afternoon. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll find something to do together or just do like a, like a movie day or something. I'd be down for that. Oh, my youngest wants to see the Terminator movies. And I said, that's fine. I, I don't mind the first two, but that's all you're getting. Cause I'm not sitting and watching the other ones. <laughs> that's just not going to happen. I don't love you that much. <laughs> So, and I may go out and buy some treats and stuff because, you know, you can't do movies and, and, and not have treats. And my kids would be very disappointed in me if I did that. They're, 
they're used to. When we do movies around my house, we go hard on the junk food, so. And that's fine. I get paid on Wednesday, so. <laughs> we'll just have to get our junk food from the dollar store. <laughs> All we need is popcorn and chips. That'll do me just fine. Excuse me. So. It should be a good weekend. It should be a productive one. And then I'll take my day of rest on Monday and get back get back to the grind on Tuesday mm -mm. And I think it's this weekend that my boyfriend is helping his buddy move um, he's moving to London tomorrow so that sucks for him <laughs> I was like, so you're going to pat, you're going to load everything and then what, go to London and like unload everything? Like, I don't think I like any of my friends that much. <laughs> like, you know, we're all at least in our 40s. Like, hire a mover, man. <laughs> I've seen a thing on Facebook. I think it was like a meme or something on Facebook. I don't know, like a month or two ago. Something to the effect of, if you if your friends are 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 you know over 40 or something like that um higher movers they're not willing to slip to slip a disc for you know a beer and two slices a light beer and two slices of pizza <laughs> and it's true order or hire a mover jesus christ i think the last time i packed and moved was myself and I didn't ask no friends to help me <laughs> I packed everything up when I moved from my townhouse to my current house um, I packed my house right packed everything cleaned the townhouse and I was working 40 hours a week back then my youngest would have been six tops. Seven. I think he turned seven. Um, and oh yeah, you fucking dick. You fucking hick motherfucker. Fucking truck behind me. Can you see that cloud of smoke? All that dust? Oh, yeah. Check that out. Mm-hmm. This is a rock parking lot. And this fucking douchebag just came in here and did a great big donut. Kicking rocks up into my fucking car. If you're one of those people, you are a fucking douchebag. And you don't deserve to have a license. Or breathe on my planet. Asshole. Oh. Mm. Fucking dick. Oh. Comes in here. Like a bat out of hell. Does a fucking donut. And leaves. <sighs> what you get when you're driving daddy's truck dickwad my god see this is why my channel will never be monetized or have ads or anything because I can't watch my mouth god damn it I could have like 40 million subscribers and I would never get anything because I just lose my goddamn shit on here. Ugh. 
And, you know, that's not the only thing that's happened in this parking lot in the, I don't know, 45 minutes or so that I've been here. <clears throat> when I got here, I had my windows down. I was sitting in the car talking to my buddy. And there was a silver car across from me. Like, not beside me, but, like, a ways across from me. And I could hear them. I'm in my car. My windows were down a touch, excuse me. But I mean like a touch. And I could hear these lunatics screaming, screaming at each other. Yeah, fucking pull that again, bud. He's back. <laughs> oh, better not do it again. <sighs> Yeah, just screaming at each other. Like, not to the point where I can make out any actual words, but just screaming at each other in the parking lot. Like, really? Go home and do that. And my buddy's like, you should go over there with your camera and <laughs> film it for your vlog. I'm like, oh yeah, so that I can get jumped by two tweakers. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> That's probably what they were. I'm just saying. <laughs> Like, damn it. <laughs> there is nowhere nice and quiet to go and do anything anymore. I'm telling you, everybody's freaking crazy. <gasps> bunny, look, happy. Oh, look at the bunny. Look at the bunny. Oh, he makes me happy. I feel better now. There, I'm happy again. <laughs> yeah. There's too many teenagers down here and they're all walking around half naked. Oh my god. Oh my dear shit. <sighs> walking around in little bralettes and <sighs> whatever. Whatever. I get it if it was like super hot, like back in what was that a few weeks ago when it was like 40 outside? Shit. If I was brave, I'd have been walking around topless. Like, I don't give it. It's legal. Whatever. But it's not that bad. It's actually comfortable out right now. I don't know. I'm becoming that person. Like, I just judge everybody I see. Absolutely. Everybody. I don't care if I know you, if I don't know you, if I've never seen you before, if it's the first time I've seen you. I don't care. I like to people watch. And sometimes make up little stories about them in my head. <laughs> totally judging. Totally judging. <laughs> but usually I find it quite funny and it makes me laugh, so I don't care. <laughs> it's not like I'm saying anything to their face. It's all in my head. It's a good time. I think most people do it. <laughs> Oh dear, excuse me. I think I was saying something before and then I seen that truck drive by again and I got all kinds of sidetracked. He's obviously not coming back again. I think he's decided to go drown himself in the lake. That'd be great. Take your truck with you. Idiot. Anyways, I think I'm going to go get me a fresh coffee. This one's just about done and it's a few hours old, so. I will go get a fresh one and, yeah, do it. There he is again, you fucking piece of shit. Do it. There he goes. Yeah. Well, he didn't do a donut, but he went speeding out. Fucking dick. Oh my god. See, there's the, you can see. Yep. Yep. Just kicking up all the dirt and all the stones. Prick. People like that should not be wandering around freely on my planet. Anyways, I'm going to go get a fresh coffee. <laughs> and I'm going to go chatty Kathy with my buddy for a bit. 
and uh, yeah. <laughs> So I hope everybody who happens to be watching had a great day today. And I hope you have a great day, well, a great weekend. And be good to yourself. And we'll talk later.